Within this lesson, we'll be multiplying three and four digit numbers by one digit numbers, applying the standard algorithm. The first problem we will look at is 4 times 173. And as stated, within the objective, we'll be using the standard algorithm to be able to solve these problems. So over here, on the right-hand side, I will use um, the standard algorithm and write that vertically there. And on the left-hand side, I'm showing you how it is that a place value chart shows this problem of 4 times 173. Let's start by using the place value chart. We have 173, so that would be three ones to begin with. Let's model that number. Seven tens and 100. And we're multiplying by four. So with the standard algorithm, we'll go four times that three, which is 12, where we place the two and we regroup the one into the tens place. Let's look at the place value chart here. There's three here. Yes, we're multiplying by four. How many ones do we have now? Right, 12. And how many can we regroup? Correct. We can regroup 10 of them over to the tens place. And we'll regroup over here so we do not accidentally multiply that one that we just regrouped by four. And you'll see what I mean in a second. For the standard algorithm, as we continue, we go four times the seven, which is 28. So I actually need more dicks within here of the tens. Four, five, six, seven, and then also another group of seven. Four, five, six, seven. So I have four groups of seven there. That's four times seven is 28. And I add in that one, which is 29. So I will be left with nine, and I will regroup uh, two. So let's see, I am left with nine. Let's see if I can circle these correctly. I believe that's 10. This will be 10 for sure. Regroup once there and twice there for 10 tens over to the hundreds place. Lastly, I'm multiplying four times that 100, so I end up with four hundreds, and I'm adding in the two to get six. And I'll place that in the standard algorithm as well. So I had the number six, nine, two. So four times 173, shown right there in the standard algorithm, and of course, it relates back to the place value chart. You'll notice that I did regroup from the ones place to the tens place, and there's that one there, and I regroup from the tens place to the hundreds place, and there's those two regroups shown there. Let's look to see how the partial products approach compares with the standard algorithm. Let's compare these two methods. With our partial products, that's what we've been working on, we have 5 times the 4 ones, and we'll write that out. The next partial product that we have is 5 times the 3 tens. And finally, we have 5 times what? 5 times 100. And let's write what each of those is worth. 5 times 4 ones is 20 ones, which is 20. 5 times 3 tens, 150. And 5 times 100 is 500. Adding those together, we will get our answer of 670. This here again is the partial products method. Let's see how it is that it looks and compared to the standard algorithm. With the standard algorithm, 
we multiply 5 times the 4 to get 20, or 21s. We place a 0, and then regroup a 2 into the 10s place, because 2 10s, 0 1s, does equal 20. 5 times the 3 is 15, plus the 2 is 17, so I record the 7, which was the 7 tens, and regroup the 1. What that came from is right here, where we have 5 plus 2 equaling that 7. And finally, I have the 5 times the 1, which is worth 100, which we can also see within that partial products. We do add in the regroup to get 6, or our answer, 670. Here are two problems for you to try using the standard algorithm. Pause the video while you are doing your work. Don't forget your regroups. 5 times 7 is 35. We place the 5 and we regroup the 3. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18. We place an 8 and we regroup the 1. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11, so that, read it with me, 237 times 5 equals 1,185. For our other problem, we start in the 1's place. 3 times 9 1's is 27 1's, so we replace the 7 and regroup the 2. 3 times the 1 10 is 3 10's, plus 2, tens is equal to five tens, and that's why we can place a five right there in the tens place. Finally, we have three times the four, which was three times four hundreds, which is twelve hundreds, and that's why we can go ahead and write a twelve for twelve hundreds right within our answer. Read the whole thing with me. 419 times three equals 1,257. Do remember that the answer to a multiplication problem is called the product. Here we're asked to find the product using the standard algorithm. We'll start in the ones place. 5 times 3 does give us 15 ones. We place the 5 and we regroup the 1. Within the tens place, we have 5 times 6 tens, which is 30 tens plus 1. 10 is equal to 31 tens, so we place the 1 and we regroup the 3 right into that hundreds place. 5 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3, and that was in the hundreds place. 5 times 2 is 10, therefore our answer is 10,315, using that standard algorithm to find our product. Okay, it's your turn to try. Go ahead and use the standard algorithm to solve this multiplication problem, 1,784 times 3. So if it was given to you like this, you should rewrite it within this manner here so you can go through your steps. Pause that video and do your work. 3 times 4 is 12. We place a 2. We regroup the 1. 3 times 8 is 24 plus 1 is 25, place the 5, and regroup the 2. 3 times 7 is 21, plus 2 is 23, place the 3, and regroup the 2. And finally, in the thousands place, we have 3 times 1, which is 3, plus 2, which is 5. So that 1,784 times 3 does give us 5,352, or even if I have this multiplication problem up here, 3 times 1,784 does give us 5,352. Give yourself a pat on the back if you got that correct. Again, this is different than our partial products approach. However, much of those steps and many of those steps actually do appear within that standard algorithm. 
we had three times four ones, and three times eight tens, and three times seven hundreds. And of course, we had three times um, one thousand. And they just appeared in another manner within our problem, where three times four ones was twelve. You see, we placed the two and we regrouped that one. Where we had three times eight tens, which was two hundred forty where we um, added in that 1 there. So we had 25, and that's why we placed the 5 and regrouped the 2. In the hundreds place there, we had um, 3 times 7 hundreds, which was 2,100. So we had 21 plus 2 here, which was 23, and that's why we placed the 3 and regrouped the 2. And finally, in the thousands place, that was worth thousand and that's why it is that with the two thousand that was regrouped from our hundreds multiplication we had placed a five into our answer and remember with partial products we carefully added together all of those numbers to be able to get our answer so there are different ways that we can solve this and again this one over here and up here where we solved it was that standard algorithm